Hey guys, it's Undead Chronic. And Ruby the Party Frog. Back again with another video. Now Ruby's got me a gift here, but before we get started, this is Nova Drift. Gameplay in the background. I'm be just messing around. Uh, smoking that good good, because Ruby's bought, brought me a gift, haven't you Ruby? I have. This is a tale as old as time. And kicking it off, this article reads, My boyfriend and I, both mid-twenties, disagree about how often we should have sex. Oh, is no. this a deal breaker for the long term? Well, is it? I'd say hell yeah, dude. No question. And uh, Chronic and I, we ran through this article real quick before we got into it. Like, there are exceptions to the rule. If your chick's got the flu, she's got her head in the toilet, and your boy wants to get a nut, don't be a scumbag. Be like, all right, this is extenuating circumstances. I understand, you know, we'll, we'll find another time for this. But if this is a week and daily thing, you're trying to get some of that good, good, and she's uh, not not about it, um, that's an issue. I'm not saying physical intimacy is an entire uh, relationship, but it's a huge aspect of it. So, I mean, if you lose that, especially they said they're not even like, you know, Viagra age, 50, 60, whatever. They're in their 20s. They should be pounding each other's brains out, you know? This is like peak uh fertility time so yeah she's not if, if you're not like you know messing her brains out when she's 25 what do you think she's gonna do when she's like 35 like come on bro what probably break happen? a hip if she goes to mount you <laughs> that's what i'm saying that's what's gonna happen to this poor bruda it, 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 here's the thing if you have high testosterone you're gonna want to to smash at least four or five times a week Man, right yeah and if mm -hmm. a chick's not about that lifestyle you can't feel bad about you know dumping her for that that's a valid re don't get shamed for dumping a chick because she's not smashing as much as you want to be smashed right mm -hmm. and it's just like that's a dumb she, she, well, that's a dumb reason to do it. it's just like no it's not a dumb reason right it really isn't it's just mm -hmm. like well we, we were good at the start of the relationship because like, yeah because you were smashing me like five times a week we all know how that works the chick oh, smashes yeah. you frequently at the start of a relationship when you talk to her and then she just Blowing takes it down to nothing through your dick oh yeah dude completely <laughs> yeah don't so, get, i mean chicks are out here hoodwinking dudes so don't feel bad if you're you know but go on ruby it, it's kind of the classic female trick that i think i mean correct me if i'm wrong here guys a lot of them will do they, they'll do the craziest freakiest crap out the bat the first couple weeks first couple months um to kind of really hone you in get you get you want to be up in there and then after a while, they'll start to kind of like, all right, well, I got this guy now, so I'll diminish, I'll cut back, whatever. And kind of like Chronic was saying too, society's quick to shame. Oh, men are just horned dogs, whatever. You just want to do that. Ask a woman. Be like, hey, a lot of dudes, they get laid off. They could be making bank one year, and then their financial situation is in the gutter. Suddenly, boom, no loyalty there. You know, Or say they have a medical thing and they can't get it up. Then, oh, well, a woman needs to get you know her satisfaction so she can go out and do that so i mean very hypocritical in terms of uh you know the hypergamy well Wouldn't read be, the read, yeah. read the story here let's see what the deal is because she All might right, have yeah. a valid reason here okay well, let's take a look i mean her her boyfriend could be a male feminist and uh, oh well i wouldn't blame her honestly like if she's a male if he's a male feminist then that's gonna drive <laughs> that puniti faster than the gobi desert you know what i mean it's just it's over uh, no chance. Oh, yeah, dude. My, my, gr my girlfriend's so tired. She doesn't want to have sex anymore. She just comes home sweaty from uh, Undead Chronic and Ruby's place. I don't, I don't know what's going on, but she doesn't want me anymore. Oh, man. She's got green yeah. stains all over her skin and thighs. I don't know what's <laughs> happening. <laughs> so kicking off this article, he says, I forgot to add, but I'm a female and he is male. Ooh, so this is written by the chick. Okay. I made a throwaway for obvious reasons. We've been together for almost five years. Living together for nearly two. We talk a lot about getting married soon. Yikes. Well, you could throw that away if you're going to keep uh, keeping this guy in the desert, if you know what I mean. But He's so um, thirsty. <laughs> we've had our issues throughout a relationship, but we've always been able to work through them. One issue that comes up every few weeks is our sex life. He has a much higher sex drive than I do. I mean, on average, chronic... Mr. Scientist could speak to this testosterone. A lot of dudes are going to be complete horn dogs. Chicks can be too, but um, to smash men are going to be driven by that a little stronger. 
um, than females on average. You know what I mean? You could ask a hundred guys to want to bang right now. And I guarantee if they have a pulse, probably about a hundred of them will say yes. Oop. For a woman, that could yeah, be high, but true. I don't know if that would be comparable, you know? No, I agree. I agree. Well, the thing is like for, for testosterone determines sex drive, right? Mm -hmm. So like a chick with a lot of testosterone is going to have like thicker shoulders. She's going to have a higher sex drive. Oh yeah. Yeah. And same so, thing for a dude. If you have like a, a, um, a Matt Shea or oh like old jacket Luke, oh. or I'm calling out some of the classic, uh, chronic and Ruby rogues boys. We're going to do the Simp of the Year 2020 video coming up soon. But if you have guys like that, yeah, like a, a what would Chronic call it? <laughs> a weak-wristed. A thin-wristed, weak-wristed. Yeah, um, whatever. He can't know. do two. He, he can't do more than two uh, man pull-ups, uh, push-ups. He's doing the girl uh, push-ups where he's like kneeling down. You know, you, know, you know the guys we're talking about. If you have a guy like that, um, then you could have the opposite. I've actually seen that where – this dude's complaining because he's kind of a low-T guy. He's like, yeah, my girlfriend just wants to smash constantly. And I can't keep up with her. And it's like, well, dude. What? Oh, yeah, dude, embarrassing. Why would you complain about that in public? Not. I've That's seen it, but yeah. <laughs> and it's like, well, dude, the kind of my advice I gave him is like, I mean, if you like this girl, nut up and do it because uh, she'll get that good good somewhere, if you know what I mean, whether it's you or not. So, I mean, that goes both ways. It really depends on the individual, but for the most part, yeah, dudes be horny. So, um, <laughs> so, and then she goes to define what sex is, basically. Um, if I'm not in the mood for sex, to clarify, I mean penetration. <laughs> I suggest take care of him, in quotes. Well, yeah, dude, I mean, a good girlfriend would do that. At the very least, you know, put put your mouth on that. Give him something, <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's at least, you know, that's, that's, that's the truth. Because if you want... It's all entitlement. If a chick thinks she doesn't need to do that to keep you around, to keep you subservient, that's just kind of like, wow, she's using you. And she's not gonna, you know, you're not like working together as partners. Like I'm trying mm -hmm. to partner with a chick, so you know, I'm trying to provide the nut, and she's, you know, she, she's trying to uh, provide a, a a canvas for me to paint with it, right? <laughs> oh yeah. Well, and that's the thing too, like. A relationship's compromise, right? So, I mean, this chick, you could be like, oh, I have a really bad period, some bloody tampons everywhere. Sorry, you boys having lunch listening to this. Like, it's graphic. It's just, like, not good down there. I'm cramping. I feel horrible. Um, so I would rather not do that right now, but I realize that you're my boyfriend and you're horny. I will suck you dry. I'll be like, all right. No homo. Like, that's, no homo. That's... I'm protecting no you, homo, bro. Yeah. No homo. I'm protecting no you. Homo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah, if, if she's willing to do that, then I'm like, all right, that's you got something to work with. You know, she's willing to compromise. She's going to get that nut, whether it's in the vag, in the butt, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Either way, she's going to try and take care of you, which is appreciated. But it seems like this chick, like, you know, she's not willing to do that. So um, I'm on SSRIs, which have undoubtedly lowered my sex drive. And I think. <laughs> is why sometimes sex is painful after too long. Yikes. I also have chronic stomach issues and often feel unwell and not in the mood. Okay, so she's basically saying uh, health problems. She's blaming on a lot of this. Um, you know, which, I mean, okay. You could go other routes with that, though. Again, you could have a stomach ache. You could still try and, uh, I don't know, do something to get the man off. What are your thoughts on that, Chronic? She, you know, it's like, all she needs to do is buy some lubricant and use your mm -hmm. hands. So like, yeah, yeah. I don't care about your stomach problems. I, I don't care about your SSRIs. Your man is unhappy in this relationship. You're, you're gonna, you have the threat of losing him. You're not even yeah, married dude, yet. This is the, this funny. is concerning to me. Hey man, oh sweetheart, you have some tummy problems? Oh, well, uh, we're all out of uh, cough drops and Pepto-Bismol, but uh, I got some sweet sticky syrup you could swallow down, make that tummy feel all nice and better. <laughs> <laughs> so he can, uh, she continues, <laughs> we have sex about twice a week, and that's enough for me, but not for him. Well, okay, I mean, twice a week, that's still pretty weak, but it's not one of those situations. You'd be surprised on Reddit where a guy's like, I yeah, she, I've been touched dude, by this my dude's girlfriend as, cut as hard as possible. I've heard it yeah. worse. I've heard it way worse, dude. Like my wife, 
hasn't touched my ding dong for like six years. I do, like, I've seen one where my wife has never touched my ding dong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, I'm like, is this real? Do I want to believe this? You know what I mean? I saw one. I didn't dive into it, but on Reddit, I was cruising around there the other day, and it's like, uh, my boyfriend's a horned dog, and I'm asexual. Is this not meant to be? And I was like, dude, no, it's not meant to be. If you were both horned dogs, that'd be fine. If you were both asexual, that would probably be fine. But that'd be like, it's just, you got to get something where the rubber meets the road, you know? You're asking a fish to fly and a bird to swim. I guess some birds swim like penguins and crap. Okay, bad example, but it's just not going to work. It doesn't line up, you know? No, I, what do you I think, Crowley? No, I, I agree. That that asexual, ace, whatever, it's like, you know, it's just not, not going to work. But is that the end of this one? What, what, keep going with this one. Yeah, we're going to polish this off. I'm actually asexual. Asexual deviant. Okay, let's go. Nope. <laughs> so, <laughs> we've been fighting worse lately. So, I adjusted. We see a therapist, and he agreed. Dude, boy, the therapist. It sounded like a P-Hub intro. Anyway, <laughs> but realistically, I'm not going to suddenly be in the mood to have sex every day. And he's not okay to take care of himself. I mean, yeah, dude. He's got a girlfriend that's – I get beaten it sometimes, but – you can't Did she ever say how much she wants it? He, no. She said they do it right now twice a week, and she's happy with that. For him, I'm assuming at least double, like four or five. Maybe he wants to smash every day. She doesn't really say. Um, he said me not taking care of him is selfish, and maybe he's right. But for some reason, just jerking him off on command makes me feel like trash. <laughs> they're just walking in the middle of the mall he just like pulls it around the corner he's like yo whips she it out realize she can take command of him with this like she can literally get him to do anything she wants mm-hmm. she has no idea the power she has but just you know dude in, if you in ever her, have a dog in her hands. Oh, yeah dude if you ever have a dog that's a complete like treat whore I mean yep. that's kind of how dudes are all the time be like, oh, I really want you to come to my parents' thing, or oh, I really want you to do this. I don't know. I'll give you a nice you can have deep throat. Dude, you can have this dude replacing people's toilets in your neighborhood, making you side money. <laughs> if you say you're going to, you know, give him the the fetish of his dream, just to, like, you know, just to, like, whoever he wants, whatever, video oh, game yeah. character, all kinds of stuff. Princess right? Leia gold bikini, you Anything. son of a bitch. I'm in. <laughs> exactly. You bro. know, whatever it is. Uh, yeah, no, she really, that, that's a good point. I mean, you know, would you do it for one Scooby stack? No. <laughs> How about two? How about a, uh, you know, under the table Filipino HJ with a <laughs> side of lube or whatever this guy's kink is. Anyway, so she goes, he says he feels cheated <laughs> because when we first met, we had sex a lot more, which is true. Yeah, dude, that's pretty much every, if you look at every marriage. It's how it always works. You know, dude, oh, I was talking works. to a buddy. I was talking to a buddy. Um, um, we were at like uh, like an office get together. And it was like, oh, a no nut zone. Like, you know, talking about like peanut butter, peanuts, cashews. And he's like, no nut zone. He's like, yeah, it's called being married. <laughs> Which, dude, one. I mean, yeah, they, he's, he's a savage, dude. But anyway, um, but I've been up my medicine a few times since then. I don't think he's a jerk necessarily because I kind of just thought as we dated longer, he wouldn't expect as much. No, dude. I mean, that might go down once he's like in his sixties and ha- having to pop Viagra. But he's a guy in his twenties. No, he's in his dude, mid twenties. He's, he's gonna want his keep... life. Yeah, dude. He's not. It's not, it's not going down. Not for a long time. Um, he's the only long term relationship I've ever had. I can't manage without my medicine, and I'm not even on any other medicine, which is supposed to help uh, with a decrease in sex drive. But clearly, it doesn't help enough. So she's saying she's only on this one thing. Um, a lot of medications can kind of kill your sex drive, but, um, yeah, I mean, it's a mental thing. I feel like if he lets, uh, if they try it and initiate it, um, she might end up enjoying it. You know what I mean? Like if you just say, it's like, like what if a dude thinks that like, cause he has to mow the yard and take out the trash that he, he, I just feel like I'm being used in this relationship. I feel like I'm just, you know, like a, a body, a late no, dudes don't think like that. It's. Oh, I need to make my wife happy by doing this physical labor. Okay. Jacking a dude off is is, <laughs> is not hard physical labor. It's not. No. Yet these dudes will gladly do any kind of crazy. The things I saw men in my life do. I need you to bury that body treated them me. like trash. I don't know. Yeah. It, it amazes <laughs> me to this day. 
It oh, yeah. it, it, absolutely amazing. I'm sure people in this chat understand, like, can can sympathize, right? Mm -hmm. The absolute <laughs> and, acts of simpage. It, it's disgusting. Oh, yeah. But so wrapping up this article, she concludes, I understand it's perfectly normal to have different sex drives, but I guess my question is, is it even worth it to spend money on a therapist? No. Uh, if this is something I don't see changing, in my mind, this is something he'll just get over. No, he won't. But maybe we're incompatible. Um, yeah, I think they're. I feel like they're incompatible. Yeah, if she's not gonna budge on this, and when I was saying before, you could just try it, initiating, and see where you go. What I was, where I was going with that is like, um, say I had a long day at work, and I know I should go lift, but right now I'm like, well, I'm tired. I just put in a good eight, ten hours. I don't really want to. Then by the time I actually get in the gym, and I'm slugging those weights on top of me i'm like about halfway through i'm like hell yeah like now i feel good and then when i left i'm glad that i came and i'm glad that i did that so it's like kind of a hurdle mentally sometimes to get there if you're tired if you're not feeling good but then at the end of the day you're like well i feel good that was a release for my body i'm glad i did that so i mean yeah nobody's gonna feel like doing anything all the time you know what i mean people go to work tired people do this but uh sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do and if this guy's like double, triple expectations, what she wants, and she's never going to be happy with that, um, yeah, I'd say they're incompatible. So, how about you, Chronic? You know, um, the biggest, the, the biggest thing that relationship brings you as a man is sex, right? Yeah. So if you aren't getting a successful sex life with the chick that you're trying to be monogamous with, it's not going to work. It's doomed to failure. But you know what else is doomed to failure? The red pill war band. If we don't get the support of the Barudas out there. Mm -hmm. So make sure you support the war band at paypal.me slash the underchronic. It's an underchronic guys. And Ruby the party frog. Take it easy. Is your style getting out of whack? Do you want to be flexing at the gym? Well, then why don't you boys go on over to Undead Chronic's Warband store on Teesprings. The link is teespring.com slash stores slash Undead Chronic's Warband store. That's right. We have an extremely unique URL for this Warband store. We have so many products and many more coming out. So if you want to support the channel, and if you want to uh, celebrate a special Christmas, consider getting the uh, Undead Chronic Christmas graphic for the low cost of $4.20. You can use this as a holiday card. You can print this picture out of Lord Chronic, passing out red pills and bombs and all that good good to the Brutas. It will be absolutely yours for the low price of $4.20. Or do you want to see your girl in Chronic's tights. That's right. You could see your girl in some nice white tights with your boy Chronic on the side. And you know what the best part about these tights are? The workout warrior. <gasps> Under Chronic on the back, he's pointing to you exactly where you need to put it. <laughs> so make sure you get your merch from the Undead Chronic Warband store today. A world where freedom itself is under attack.